choice of entity, shifting of income for tax savings problem two. Lettuce Partnership has four equal partners. At the beginning of the year, Spinach was one of the Lettuce Partners, but on 10-1, or October 1st, he sold his partnership interest to Kale. If Lettuce's ordinary income for the year was $476,000, what portion of this income should be allocated to Spinach and what portion should be allocated to Kale? So this one's actually a pretty straightforward and pretty fun problem. You've got a partnership, and as we've been talking about in our problems, the partnership items flow through to the owners. Okay, so we've got lettuce. Lettuce is a partnership. Remember, we denote partnerships with a triangle because the flow-through entity flows through to the different owners. And we've got four equal partners. We've got four equal partners. And we only know one of those partners is spinach. We'll just say spinach is S, individual S. And the idea here is that they're equal partners, so spinach owns 25%. Now, spinach is going to own from January 1st until October 1st. Spinach owns the ownership. Then spinach is going to sell to kale, individual kale, and then kale owns from October 2nd to December 31st that same 25%. Okay? That's the idea here. Okay, and the question is, well, if the if lettuce has four hundred seventy six thousand dollars to allocate of income during the year, and as we've learned before, the we we allocate the income to the owners. Well, what portion goes to spinach during the year, and what portion goes to uh, kale? So the idea here is a few things. First thing is, we're not told whether this this business is a calendar year, which means January 1st to December 31st business, or fiscal year, which is basically any year other than January 1st to December 31st. Because we're not told it's a fiscal year, we always assume it's calendar year unless you're told otherwise. So we assume it's a calendar year business, which is January 1st to December 31st. So that's really important, number one, okay? That is, a, that is a big thing that we do in tax, we do that. Okay, the next thing that we have to understand is for the rules. This is more of a rule item. When you're doing an allocation, when you have dif differences, whether it's an S corporation or a partnership, you always assume the year, because if we had a leap year, right, it's 366 days. Well, this one's 365 days. So, or I'm sorry, we, we make the assumption it's a 365 day year unless we're told it's a leap year. So unless it's a leap year, we use 365 days. So all we're going to do here is we basically just count the number of days for spinach and kale and then we take the 25% and we basically allocate those portions, that, that amount. Now, another thing we have to do, the way that the tax law works is that it requires a daily allocation. That's why we did the 365 days. So what I'm saying is there's $476,000 of total income during the year to be allocated over all the owners, right? Spinach, kale, and the other three owners. And we don't know if they sold their interests or whatnot. So what I'm saying is we, it makes us do a daily approach. So we take $476,000, we divide that by 365 days, again, using our assumption, and we're going to round to four decimal places. So let's round to four decimal places in this problem. So if you're in my class and you're doing a similar problem, round to four decimal places. Okay, round to four decimal places. Okay, round to four. And when you calculate the amount, the daily approach to allocate per day, not per owner, but per day, so this is basically the way to think of it is this is the amount of income that's earned by the business each day, okay? And then we can allocate that using the percentage. That's going to be $1,304. And remember, we round to four decimal places. Actually, let me give myself a little bit more room. I'll rewrite this. Give myself a little bit more room. Need a little bit more room there. So it's $1,304. And again, I'm going to go to four decimal places here. 1096 rounded to four decimal places. Okay? Rounded to four decimal places. 1096. So the idea here is for each owner, we count from January 1st to December 31st, okay, which is 365 days. And what you want to do is count the number of days, okay? And then basically Multiply it by 25% because remember, spinach owns 25% and then kale owns 25%. Now, looking at spinach, spinach owns from January 1st to October 1st. That's going to be a lot of days to count. Kale only has from October 2nd to December 31st. That's going to be easier to count, okay? Because the way you can do this, think about each month. 
okay? Think about each month. So December is 31 days. November is 30 days. And then October is 31 days as well, but you have to subtract one day from that and that is going to equal, I'm sorry, that's going to be 30. So Kale owns in the month of October, in the month of October, Kale owns for 30 days, right? October 2nd to October 31st is 30 days. And then for November, Kale owns it for all 30 days because there's 30 days in November for a 365 day year. And then I guess what really changes is February, right? And then December, Kale has it all 31 days. If you add together those numbers, you get 91 days. You get 91 days. So the way we do the allocation for Kale, and then we'll do spinach next, and that one will be easy because you, you can just subtract 365 minus 91. That's how I would do this. So what you're going to do here is you take the $1,304 number that we calculated above, 1,304. Again, we rounded to four decimal places. So that's going to be 1,304.1096. You multiply that by the number of days, which here is 91 days, and then you multiply it by, because that's, a, remember, $1,304.1096, that's the amount of income the partnership is basically earning throughout the year each day. Okay. Now it's obviously, a, a, it's like an average. It's not really what they're, what they're earning, but you get the idea for doing this. That's how the tax law does this. Multiply that by 91 days because Kale owned it for 91 days and Kale didn't have hundred percent. So then we have to do by the percentage Kale owns, Kale owns 25%. So if you multiply that, that cal that formula right there, you're going to get 29,000. We're going to round to the nearest dollar, 29,000. $668 is how much kale would report on kale's K1. So that's the amount of income. What portion of income should be allocated to spinach and what portion of kale? 29,668 to kale. Okay, so now we have to do spinach. So for spinach, all you have to do for the number of days, this one is going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to do the same formula. It's going to be $1,304.1096. Point one zero nine six, okay. So that same number. We're going to multiply that by the number of days that spinach owned had an interest, which January first to October first. You could count those days, right? But it'd be, it'd be faster just to do three hundred sixty-five days minus ninety-one. Three hundred sixty-five minus ninety-one is two hundred seventy-four days. So we're going to multiply that by two hundred seventy-four days. And then again, remember, spinach does not own one hundred percent. So we multiply that by spinach's percentage, which is twenty-five percent. That's this right here. And when you do that calculation, you get spinach's percentage, and that equals, again, rounded to the nearest dollar, $89,332. $89,332. And that's all you have to do. This question is just showing you how we allocate when you have different owners, different percentages during the year. You basically use a daily approach. We assume 365 days. You calculate the number of days, you do a daily calculation of the income, kind of average it out, multiply it by each owner, and you see how exactly how it works. So make sure you go over this and understand, okay, how exactly would allocate to the different owners where, you, where your, your interest during the year changes during the year, or you lose, you know, your interest goes away and a new person joins, things like that.